This video demonstrates how to border an entire Excel table using the Python library OpenPyExcel. Here is our testing document that contains a single table of food and specific amounts of food. Python will help us border this table so that we don't have to do it manually. Here, I am importing the workbook I just showed you as WB, and I'm selecting the worksheet as WS. I will then be saving the work in the cell below this one. First, you start with importing the necessary libraries to accomplish our task. They are border and side, and they both exist within the styles module of OpenPy Excel. Each cell object of a worksheet in OpenPy Excel has a border attribute that accepts a border object. Each border object can be passed a side element for each of the four sides of a cell. Before I go more into these two objects specifically, let's get the cells that we want to border. Here I am specifying that the start and end cell for this example are B3 and C6. Reopening the workbook, we can see this is the top left and bottom right of the table that we are applying a border to. Usually, tables begin at the top left cell of a document, cell A1, and with that structure, it might be best to use the max row and max column attribute to locate the start and end of the cells. But for this small example, I want to demonstrate more explicitly what is happening, so I'll be hard coding the values into these variables. A very nice way of selecting a range of cells in a workbook is by using the bracket notation on the worksheet object. Here you can see between these brackets, I am passing the start cell variable and the end cell variable separated by a colon. Let me add the variable name at the bottom of the cell and execute it so I can show you what we've just stored in the variable. You can see it is a tuple of tuples. Each cell object is being captured in the same type of column format as contained on the page. You can see we are accessing B3 through C6, our start and end cells. Now I'm going to finally create the border object, which I'm going to be calling border. To this border object, you can see I'm passing locations, left, right, top, and bottom. Each of these locations is being assigned the exact same thing a side object with a specific style, thin. This is the default style for Excel that you would typically see if you were to apply a border to a cell without modifying the styling of that border. I have made another video that goes deeper into these types of borders you can create, which you can access by clicking on the link at the top of this video or the link in the descriptions. But for now, this is satisfactory for our purpose. The final step here is to add that border to each of the cells in our table. This requires two for loops. The outer loop is going through each item in our cell range tuple, which you can remember we created right up here. The inner loop is going to cycle through each row within the cell range row. So the cell values in that first loop will be B3, then C3. The next loop will be B4 and C4, and so on until all of the rows in the range have been iterated through. To each cell we have in our cell range, we access the border attribute. Every cell in OpenPy Excel has this attribute and accepts a border object as a value, and that's what we are doing here. Assigning the border attribute of the cell, the border object we just created. With this executed, let me save the document and reopen the workbook to check the work. And here you can see a border now exists on our entire table. So it's actually very straightforward to do. First, you import the necessary libraries. Then you select a range of cells that represent the table you would like to border. You then create your border object, specifying the styling of the borders you would like. And finally, you iterate through all of your cells, assigning each cell's border attribute the border that you have created. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video on applying a border to an entire table in OpenPy Excel. Please let me know in the comments what other features of OpenPy Excel or Python you would like to see reviewed in future videos. Do give this video a thumbs up as it really does help other people find this content. And please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you know when the next video drops.